Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. I praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. And check this out. We are here to cover the games that transpired on Saturday, which was yesterday, June 22nd, in the WNBA, like we always do. Provide y'all a quick recap, man. So let's get right to it. At the gate on June 22nd, we saw Washington Mystics trample the Dallas Wings and score 97 to 69, man. It was led by Emily Engsler's 23 points and Stephanie Dawson's double double with 16 points and 10 rebounds, you know? The offense of the Wings, they had a little bit of effort put in, you know, it was ironically led by the former Defensive Player of the Year, and Natasha Howard. She went 19 points, but it just wasn't enough to stop the Washington Mystics. The Mystics beat the Wings 97 to 69. Yes, by almost 30 points, a whopping 28 points, man. That's a huge deficit right there. Get him up, let him get up, let him get up, let him get up. Like that, like that. Now moving on to the second game, onward to Brooklyn, New York. You know, the Liberty dismantled the Los Angeles Sparks. I mean, when you have two of the last three MVPs of Brianna Stewart and John Quell Jones, plus one of the best shooters, male or female, is Sabrina Ayuescu. It's no wonder that you have the second best uh, 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 record in the league. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's, that's, that's almost a given. Yeah. And then on top of that, you get a dub. I'm talking about a 20-piece bucket of chicken. You get all that from Kayla Thornton for free? Oh, yeah, man. Not too many teams can keep up with that. And the L.A. Sparks, there was no difference. You know what I'm saying? No different. And they couldn't keep up either. You know, led by Stewie's 33-point barrage. She went crazy. And Jonquil Jones' 14-point, 13-board double-double. You know we love them double-doubles around here. You know it. It was something like a walk in the park. And not to mention, Brianna added six blocks to the mix. <laughs> well, she did it just because she can. You know what I'm talking about? The former MVP, man. So LA was led by Dierica Hamby's 20 points as they tried to fight back. You know, they tried, but the Liberty beat the Sparks, you know, by a score of 98 to 88, man. And, 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 and you know, Liberty, they, they some beasts, man. They're only behind the Connecticut Sun. The Connecticut Sun have the number one uh, uh, record in the league, and, and New York Liberty are right there behind them. And then last game before we wrap it up, man, we have the Minnesota Lynx. They're on a nice five-game winning streak, and they don't, they're not looking like they want to give that up anytime soon. And <laughs> the Phoenix Mercury, they couldn't stop it. You know what I'm talking about? So their main go-to is all fire, and I mean, she's really hot in more, way, in more ways than one. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, wow. Deficia Collier, she is averaging a double-double for the season, and the, this game was no different, man. The former Rookie of the Year snatched 14 boards to go along with her game-leading 23 points. Come on, how you gonna stop that? How you gonna stop it? It's mad hops. You know, and Alana Smith and Courtney Williams added 14 to 12 points, respectively. And as, you know, the Lynx just, they clapped the, they clapped the Phoenix Mercury, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> The score was 73 to 60 as the big three of DT, BG, and Khalil Cooper, they just they just struggled from the field. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't do anything and Rebecca Allen wasn't too different, you know. So um yeah, they just they fall to the they fall to the hot links, you know what I'm saying? And um and, that, and the links continue their six game win streak, you know. So Tonight we have some more games, of course, uh, with with the headline being uh, uh, the Chicago Sky, the Indiana Fever. You know, the rookie rivalry season continues. You know, uh, AR and the Sky take on CC and the Fever. You know, and um, <clears throat> excuse me, this should be a good one. But in my opinion, the biggest rivalry should be and is. Asia Wilson and Brianna Stewart. You know, Asia and Stewie, man, as both are former MVPs, what? both are champions, what? both are 6'4", you know what I'm saying? And both play the center slash forward position, you know what I'm talking about? So, yeah. if you know, you know, you know, but it is, but it, I, I, with all that being said, I do indeed love the CCAR rivalry. I love it, so it's, it's, it's interesting. It keeps people in tune, you know what I'm talking about? So, don't go check it out. Don't forget. I appreciate y'all working as always, man. That's it for WNBA wrap up. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. Remember with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.